Buying a new smartphone is a really personal choice. There are a ton of great options out there, especially in the flagship range. What I've got in front of me is two, let's just call them kissing cousins for lack of a better word. Uh, I've got Samsung's latest Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, which I'm just gonna call the Edge Plus, and the Galaxy Note 5. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'm gonna help you show you the differences between these two and hopefully help you pick the one that's right for you. So first, the specs. They are spec for spec, save for some curved glass and an S Pen identical, which means based on the same Android 5.1 Lollipop, same Exynos 7420 octa-core processor, same four gigs of RAM available in 32 or 64 gig, that same gorgeous 5.7 inch QHD display, 2560 by 1440. Make your mom proud and tell me what the PPI is on that. If you said 518, you either have a good memory or you are much smarter at math than I am. Same 60 megapixel camera on the back, same five on the front, the exact same, for better or worse, 3000 milliamp hour battery, same wireless charging and fast charging capabilities. Um, so what are the differences between the phones? Let's start with what you can see. Uh, and first, the color. I, I can say that this gold platinum uh, Edge Plus is the most beautiful color I have ever seen on a phone. It is stunning uh, in person. I know gold phones sometimes look a little bit feminine to people. This one looks not masculine or feminine. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful uh, looking color. Unfortunately though, not available on the Note, uh, which we've got either black sapphire, which is, they should just call blue, because it's blue, that's what we have here, or white pearl, which actually is just white. Uh, you can also get this in the same black sapphire color, but if you're getting the Edge Plus, do yourself a favor and for sure uh, get it in the gold. So it's called the Edge Plus for a few reasons. Really just one reason. It curves. The screen has an edge on it. Uh, I loved the way the S6 Edge felt in the hand. Uh, this one feels even better uh, than that. It's not so sharp along the sides like it was with the S6 Edge. You can hold it without sort of feeling like you're getting a lot of pressure put on your finger. It's a silly thing, but you definitely notice it. So the advantages uh, of the Edge are a few. Uh, first, Samsung giving you some sort of edge tweaks you can do. So if you swipe in from the side, the first thing you're gonna see is the ability to add uh, Edge apps or Edge Contact, depending on which screen you've got. But let's start with apps. Uh, it's pretty simple, you can just add shortcuts apps and you launch them. That's the extent of it. Uh, other, over here you can get Edge people. Uh, and this is, they're not like your edgy friends with like a nose ring. These are just people you can set up where you can get select different colors for them. Uh, you can dial them quickly right from here or if you turn your phone over, when they call, you'll see a glow come out of the side knowing who's calling you. It's a small touch, one that I really have yet to find a use for, but it is kind of neat. Uh, one of the other cool things about the Edge uh, is how it looks when you're playing video or taking pictures. The video seems to wrap around the side of the screen, creating a really immersive experience. When you're taking pictures, it almost looks like you just have two bezels on the top and the bottom and you're just seeing through the phone. Uh, it's a really cool effect and one that I really enjoy. Another difference is, of course, price. The Edge is going to be more expensive, but every carrier has got their own pricing scheme. So if you want to know what they're going to cost, we'll put a picture of that up right now, at least what they cost as of launch. But certainly check with your carrier because prices are always bound to change. So let's move over to this guy, uh, the Note. So it is a little bit heavier. It's 171 grams versus 153 uh, on the Edge Plus, but I really like the extra weight. I'm just going to say it. I I'm not a big fan of this black sapphire, let's just call it blue. Uh, we saw it on the S6, it shows fingerprints like crazy. I don't have like super greasy hands, but like, you know, they get a little sweaty sometimes. Uh, and you can definitely see every mark uh, on the phone. But the color aside, I like the extra little bit of weight uh, on here. So whether you love or loathe Samsung's design change, they certainly went in a different direction with both of these devices. Uh, keeping with the design language of the S6 and the S6 Edge, but something unique here with the Note is they curved the sides and they curved the back of it as opposed to the screen uh, on the Edge. That sounds like something really trivial, but that makes the phone feel incredible in the hand. I know that's something that you hear quite a bit. Uh, you hear it from me quite a bit, but this phone really does feel nice. Uh, it's a really subtle thing, but one that I'm definitely aware of whenever I hold the phone, uh, and I've really enjoyed it. Uh, small tweak, but I really give Samsung credit for that. Uh, the other big deal with the Note is the S Pen. I turned the screen off for a reason. So it lo it's located right down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and it's now sort of spring-loaded, so you don't have to put your finger in there and pop it out. You actually just push it in, and it ejects itself. I'll go ahead and pull the pen out and show you what you can do with it. So it looks like my screen is off, but I can actually draw on it if I wanted to. I'll do a little smiley face guy. And one thing you're not going to be able to hear, not going to pick up through the mic, is that there's a little sort of faint noise as I drag the pen over the screen. 
Similar noise that you get if you took pencil uh, on paper. Small tweak, but one that's really nice. Also, it appears to be much closer to real time. Uh, there isn't much of a lag as I do real fine movements here uh, with the pen. So a cool tweak here, you can go ahead and add notes and then save it real quickly without having to turn the screen on. I will say though, if you want to get access to this feature, you have to go into the S Pen settings to turn it on. It's not there, but turn on your device. So just bear that in mind. So when you eject your pen, which now you can write people in meetings by just clicking it. it, doesn't do anything, but it does make a clicky noise that people are not gonna like you for. Uh, so you get a little icon right there. If you go ahead and sort of hover your pen over, it's called Air Command, and you tap it. You get a ton of options here. These bottom two are customizable. You can set these for any app shortcuts you want. I use Chrome and the YouTube Studio. Uh, so you get a few options here. Action Memo is gonna let you sort of just draw things like a memo. Um, I've done demonstrations of these before, but suffice it to say, if you wanna draw notes, that's where you're gonna go. Smart Select will let you select things on your screen that you want to take shots of, either the whole screen, an oval, or sort of like a lasso. Um, to select just a certain particular part of it. Screen right, I'll take a screenshot, and you're right, right on the screen. And S Note's kind of where all those things are gonna live and all they're, we're all going to be stored. So all your memos and things will live uh, in there. I will say the S Pen is neat, it's been refined, it feels better in the hand, but it's still something that I'm probably not gonna use very often. I've never really used the S Pens all that much. It's a nice feature to have, it's nice to know it's there. If I'm gonna use it, it's probably gonna be that feature when the screen is off and just write a quick phone number down. Um, so that for me is not a determining factor. If you're the kind of person that likes to draw a lot of things on your phone or write notes, that might be a reason to buy the phone. Um, but for me, I don't really use it all that often. When both of these phones got announced, I thought for sure, listen, I like the S6 Edge. The Edge Plus is definitely gonna be the phone for me. And as we go through and do the testing for these reviews, I'm spending time uh, with each. Uh, and I gotta say, as cool as this thing looks, and it looks incredible in person, it's almost a conversation piece because it really is nothing else like it uh, except for the S6 Edge. Um, but I think if I had to pick one of these up, I would pick up the Note. The extra weight feels really nice. The curve on the back, again, is something subtle, but it looks gorgeous. If I could just get this in that color, you know, I would be a very happy guy. But unfortunately, we don't always get what we want. Uh, other things we'll cover when we get this whole review, like battery life, performance, uh, and the rest of it. We want to give you guys a quick comparison of these two phones and decide maybe which one's going to be right for you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. Hit the big subscribe bar. We always appreciate it. And of course, the thumbs up always helps. Until next time, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.